how does a host within a network receive an IP address? Like, can you just connect your laptop to Wi-Fi and be good to go? That's what happens, right? How does that work? We can configure IP addresses manually or alternatively receive them from the network we connect to, which is running a DHCP server in a plug and play way. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and is used to assign IP addresses to the host within a subnet so that we do not need to do it manually every time we connect the host to the network. DHCP is useful when you are within a subnet and need an automatic assignment of a host address. It assigns IP addresses from the available pool when the endpoints join the network and releases them when endpoints leave. An endpoint can renew its IP address lease while it is still in use. DHCP is a client server protocol. The client is typically a newcomer to the network that needs an IP address. A DHCP server or a relay agent is present at the subnet. The protocol runs in four steps. DHCP discovery, where the host tries to find a DHCP server to get an IP address from. The host, at this step, broadcasts a DHCP discover message. This means that it sends the request to everyone in the network, simply because it does not know whom to send it. The broadcast happens with setting of the destination IP address to 255.255.255.255. Since it still does not have an IP address of its own, it sends the message introducing itself as the source with the host address of 0.0.0.0. .0 the next step is DHCP server offer. At this step, the server responds to the request with a DHCP offer message that it broadcasts to all the nodes within the subnet. The first two steps are optional, since they might happen only for a newcomer host to the subnet. Next, the host sends the DHCP request. It uses the parameters in the DHCP offer to send this request. And the last step is a DHCP ACK, where the server responds to the DHCP request message with confirming the required parameters. Let's see this process together with an example. Suppose we have a network with three subnets. There is a DHCP server for the subnet 223.1.2.0/24 network, which is on the address 223.1.2.5. A new laptop arrives at the subnet. It connects to the Wi-Fi access point with address 223.1.2.9. When this host comes into this network, it first broadcasts a DHCP discover message, trying to find the DHCP server. It sets the destination address of the datagram to 255.255.255.255, which is the IP broadcast address. It sets the source of the IP datagram to 0.0.0.0, .0, the default address. In the next step, the DHCP server broadcasts a DHCP offer message, announcing an IP address that could be used by this endpoint. The datagram still has the destination IP address as the broadcast address, which has all 255s. The source address of this datagram is the IP address of the DHCP server, which is 223.1.2.5 and it contains the offered IP address in the body of the message, which is 223.1.2.4. Then, the client broadcasts the DHCP request. The IP datagram still has the source address as 0.0.0.0, since the IP address is not assigned to the endpoint yet. The DHCP message contains the requested IP address in the message. A 
and the DHCP server responds with the confirmation message, which is within a broadcast datagram again, which contains its address as the source of the IP datagram, broadcast address as the destination of the IP datagram, and the confirmed address at the body of the message as a part of the parameters.